Can you phone a friend in this round? Yes, go for it. Oh, called the client fast. <laughs> he switched it off on you, didn't he? I don't think he's my friend. Oh. Welcome to the very first episode of our Head to Head series. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be bringing you your favourite players, plus some very special guests as they prepare to face off against each other for pure bragging rights. You'll be able to get involved in the comments. So let's begin. First, let me introduce you to our team captains for today. We have Juan Mata and Daniel James. Alongside them, our special guests, our Cricket World Cup winner, Jofra Archer, and two-time Rugby World Cup winner, Sonny Bill Williams. Hello, guys. Hello. Hey. Hello. How are you, Paul? I'll start with you, Juan. How's lockdown life treating you? To be honest, I'm lucky, so it's fine. I'm here in Manchester and um, we have an incredible weather. Um, and I'm spending my time training and organizing some things in the house, so I can't complain. And Daniel, I'm guessing you're getting really good at pool now. Yeah, not so bad, yeah. Um, Mrs. beat me a few times, so. We're doing it. Sonny, um, you recently caused quite a stir when you moved to the UK. Have you been able to visit the guys over at Manchester yet? Yeah, I've visited. I've got to visit the uh, boys at their, at their lovely facilities. They're really hospitable, so good day. Um, but I'm, I'm just like one. I'm enjoying the weather here at the moment in Manchester. It's awesome, especially uh, you know four kids under five. So we're we're loving the weather here at the moment. Sunshine helps, hey. Sunshine helps. Joffrey, you're well known for being a United man. Have you been able to get any games this season? Yeah, I went to the um... Man City game. Man. Yes, yeah, I went to the City game. Can't it was a long time ago, to be honest. Lockdown seems to be going on forever, so excuse me. I think that was the last game before lockdown, right? Yeah, it was. We got in there just in time. Introduce me to who's on your lap, Jofra. Uh, this is Griff. Um, I'm not too sure what mood he's in at the moment, but it seems to be chill at the moment. And, and how are you feeling about the competition, Jofra? Are you confident? Well, it depends. I'll know when they get the questions. Yeah, well, Joffrey, you're going to be teamed up with Daniel and Sonny, mm -hmm. you're teamed up with Juan. Um, I was thinking it would be much more fun if we had team names. So, do you want to have a little chat to each other and come up with a fun team name? <laughs> team name. Why not? Um, I, Great. I think I have ours. Already? Uh, yeah. I'm with us, sir. Let's go. You can, see, strong, you can see both of us, we are really big guys and massive <laughs> strong guys, so it's going to be the strong team. The strong team, yeah. All right, let's go. The strong team, love it. Dan, Jofra, how about you guys? Danny, you can have it. No, we'll go Griff. Because <laughs> he's sat on there, it's like... We're <laughs> doing it for the doggy. All right. Working as a pair in your team, I'm going to give you one minute to answer as many questions as possible. You've got one point for every answer you get correct. So if there's any question that you both know and you just want us to pass, pass it. Because the quicker we get through it, the better. Okay? Yeah. Maximum 10 points up for grabs here. We're going to start with Daniel and drop her team. Uh, We're starting with you. All right, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> the sweat is starting, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start the clock as soon as I ask the first question. So just shout out the answer as soon as you get it right, I'll move on. Everyone set? What was the score in United's last game before the season was suspended? Danny? Uh, was it 6-0? Was it Close. 5 now. Yes. What colour yeah. shirts did United wear in the 1968 European Cup final? What colour? Was it blue? Yes. United managers Matt Busby, Tommy Doherty and Alex Ferguson all played international football for which country? Scotland. Yes. In which English stadium would you have found the clock end? The clock end? It's a tough one. Am I on my own here, John? Pass. Awesome. 
Which well, we're going to ask some cricket is... other questions other than football, I'll get them. Which cricket ground is the home of Surrey? Pardon me, said that again? The Oval. Sorry. The, Oval. the Oval. Yes. Owen Morgan hit an ODI world record 17 sixes last summer at which ground? Uh, or Chaffee. Yes, the other one. Who won the 2020 Super Bowl? Say that again. The Super Bowl. Oh, oh, oh. was it All England Patriots? Nope. Nah. Patriots. I want Patriots. Pass. Pass. In the treble season of 1999, who did United beat in the FA Cup final? Uh -huh. Time's up. You think you can beat that, Sonny? Five? One, let's go, brother. Let's go. Time starts now. Who scored United's first goal of the season's Premier League campaign? Rashford. Yes. Which former Red has had a celebration known as the Shuffle? Say pass so that you don't waste the time, pass, guys. Pass, pass, pass. It was leaped up. Which Super League team play at the jungle? Food. Which United player's nickname was Little P? Uh, Chicharito. Yes. In which Chicharito. city did United win their last Champions League final? In uh, Moscow. Yes. Who are the current state origin champions? New South Wales. Correct. Which United striker scored 95 goals and 20 goals? Really won. Oh, there's the whistle. There's Wait, the did whistle. It Want it a draw? That's the last question. That's only five. Six. No, it was a draw. That's only <laughs> five. <laughs> five. Now, this gets fun. We're going to show you a short video clip of a classic Manchester United goal and you guys will become the commentators. We will want your best commentary skills here, okay? So our team captains, Juan and Dan, they're gonna be the main commentary team, and Sonny and Joffrey, you guys are gonna be like the pundits that throw for them. Happy? <laughs> we thought we would also bring on a guest judge here to make it completely impartial. So we've gone for former Man United defender, Wes Brown. Wes Brown is here, hello Wes. Hi everyone, I'm here, are you okay? Hi Wes. Let's so go. Wes will be our judge. Wes, can you tell me in their commentary skills, what are you looking for? I'm looking for a lot of passion, lads. A um, lot of detail. Um, and I want, I want the voice. Let, let's, let's get into it. <laughs> wow. Big goals, big voices. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of commentary personalities we have. Okay. So let's begin with our first clip. Who's commentating first? Do we need a microphone? One second. Oh, yes, good man. What's that? Ah, microphone. Where's yours? Well, Sonny, you guys are going forward first. Lean forwards in your chair, get ready. I'm taking this uber seriously. And this goal, I'll tell you now, is Daniel James at Southampton in the English Premier League. Give us your best shot. Harry Maguire is in the ball, play to Scott McTominay. He turns and plays to Victor Lindelof. They feel so comfortable in the ball, Maguire and Victor Lindelof. And he's They're punching it down the sideline there. Oh, he's got some great boots on. Oh my gosh. The <laughs> latest oh, to the other side. Find that cap. He Let's plays go. it over Dan James. Juan Mata makes a great round and he's yeah. a great goal! Oh! Dan oh, James! Victory! Thanks to Juan Mata's <laughs> run, by the way! <laughs> Look at the celebration, the passion! The Look passion! At, Look at that! Look at stadium! Look at that finish, that's incredible oh. from Dan James, who is, going, who is having a great start of the season for United. <laughs> He, he definitely must be from New Zealand, this young fella. He's the uh, product of, of Aotearoa and look at them shine on the big stage. Big celebration for the manager. He knows how important that world goes. 
epic. Okay. <laughs> that went a lot better than I expected, but it's not about what I think. Wes, what are your thoughts? Do not give us the result or point yet. We're going to hold that off until you've seen the other team. But tell me your thoughts. I thought it was excellent. Um, lots of love in there. Lots of detail. And then the tone of the voice once the goal went in. Perfect. Absolutely loved it. Very game. Okay, so Daniel and Josh. How do you feel after seeing the competition start again? It's hard to beat, but I think we got it. Confident. Team got a lot of passion. Okay, so Jofra and Dan, here's the goal. We like you to commentate over it. It's one matters goal in the FA Cup against Wolves. It's Harry McGraw on the ball. Goes long. Beats him. So he's on play. He plays yeah. one in. Can he? Can he score? 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 I love it. We've got a replay for him. Such a pacey player. He chips the ball over the keeper. Makes John Ruddy look silly and he celebrates the ball towards the strip for them. Wow. I've seen him done this many a time, Danny, and he does not miss when he's one of the one with the keeper. Does Magnifical. not. Magnificent. I, I really appreciate the fact that you actually got out headphones and put them on for that. Did that help you? <laughs> well, it did, but then I couldn't hear what I was saying, so I just... <laughs> Damn. Well, Wes, I think it's over to you. Both teams gave us something very impressive. I'm going to give him extra points for the for the mic. Um, I thought that was nice. It took a while to get involved, but once the goal went in, I do have to say, the go, 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 go at the end. <laughs> I, I, I'm liking I, that, I'm feeling that. Uh, so, but, but, it's a tight one. It's a tight one. We're looking at microphones. Sonny had a water bottle upside down. We've got to appreciate that too, yeah. right? Yeah, but Dan actually, he actually got up, didn't he, and went in the draw and got, and got the wooden spoon. Yeah, the headset uh, as well, don't forget that. Don't uh, forget the <laughs> but, but I'm going to say, I'm going to have to go, even though the finish was good. I'm sorry to say, Daniel, sorry. It's going to have to be Juan and Sonny there taking that point. Excellent commentary. Enjoyed well done, it. Yeah. Well done, sorry, boys. Joffrey, sorry, mate. A bit biased, that, huh? but that's Yeah, fine. a little bit. But they started well. They started well, Joffrey. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, true. And they, they rolled into it. I was feeling it. I was moving with him. I was like, I was like, oh, he's passed it. Oh, yeah, OK, and he's in. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So they, they just nick it. Well done, Tony. How do you guys feel about the win there? Because of course we're drawing in round one. Round two has been the difference. Juan, Sonny, how are you feeling? I was always confident. Once I knew I was a team that would win, it was just a matter of time, you know? Cream always rises to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it, it gave me some idea to do something after football. Maybe that's my next year. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wes, thank you very much. We appreciate your judgment there. I know that wasn't easy. No problem at all, enjoy. You've joined us now in round three. Each team will be given a historical Manchester United lineup with two players removed. So, working with your teammates, you need to work out who the missing players are. Um, we're going to start with Juan and Sonny. The other guys, don't say anything. This is Jay Coy. I want to give them a point. So, here's your lineup. It should show on screen now. It's United versus PSC. Champions League game 2018-19. We got this one. Let's go, brother. Get deep in thought, my brother. I want to know who's missing in that lineup. Guys at home, you can get involved too. Just make a comment. Well, those games, we had an incredible amount of injuries, I remember. So, uh, if that's the game in Paris uh, in which we qualified uh, with Marcus's goal at the end, the centre back has to be Lindelof. I think it's Lindelof, and in midfield, I'm, I don't know if Ander Herrera was injured. I think he was injured, so it has to be um, Fred. Maybe Fred. So I, I think. What do you think? So I think Lindelof and Fred. 
It sounds right, bro. It's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> when you're ready, if you want to stay with <laughs> Sonny's confident. When you're ready, if you want to stay with those answers, let me know and we'll reveal the answer for you. I think I will stay with that then. You're going with Lindelof and Fred, and the answer is. Yeah. Well done. That was, I, I appreciate how you got there too. Well done. Really, really good. Okay. We're going to go over now to Daniel and Jofra. It's your turn. And this is United versus Manchester City. This is the, re this is the recent one, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Um, the one that you went to and tried it was. So it'd be Scott and um, Scott and Brandon, would it be? Are you sure? <laughs> Which should we play back to back? I want to wait on one. Stop it! You can't speak. Oh, no. <laughs> Two minds. I know the left wing back must be. I'm not, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure that Scott was fit for that game. That's only. No, <laughs> you're having me on. I don't know. No, was it? Scott, come on for someone. Who was it? Scott came on and scored. I don't think he started. Yeah. Could be the man you know. I think I got the man and Brandon. Are you sure? Why would you say? Go <laughs> with your gut feel, mate. Go with your gut feel. Nah, I'm one singing the off, but I'm going to man you and Brandon. Nemanja with Brandon is your final answer. Let's reveal the correct answer. Yes. Why is everyone putting me on? Putting me through mine. <laughs> One more lineup for Juan and Sonny. Sure, bring it on. United versus Juventus. This is a lineup of United versus Juventus in a Champions League game, it's the away game in the 2015 2019 season. Let's take a look at that lineup now. Two players missing, but who were they? Fellaini scored, but I don't think he played from the beginning. In the midfield, it has to be either Fellaini or uh, Ander Herrera. And up front, it has to be <laughs> Lukaku. So Alexis maybe played that game because I think we played with a different striker. And I think Alexis played that game. I got Phil tells me he's under and Alexis. Come on. There uh, we go. It's too crazy. Memory's exceptional. Right, so we're going to give another chance. To Daniel and Jofra, but one last chance at this. Um, guessing who is missing. We're going to go to a United versus Liverpool away game at Anfield in the uh, English Premier League 2014 15 season. Wow, I'm going to get one that one. So, this was the away game, guys. Okay, makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Does it, or is that pure sarcasm? Yeah. One, uh, you played this game. Who was playing up front and who was playing left back? <laughs> Rojo? Nah. I think that up front was Ruth Van Nistelrooy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you phone a friend in this round? Yes, go for it. We're going to need to make it quick, though. Well, to be fair, the friend that I picked might not even know this, so... Who's the friend? Tell us about it. It's H, it's Harry. <laughs> it might not that? answer because... <gasps> you might answer. get left in the dark. Ah, oh, hold the client fast. <laughs> uh, he switched it off on you, didn't he? <laughs> I don't want to be my friend. Oh, hard one. I'm sorry, Daniel. I can give you. I can give you a hint. I think. <laughs> who, was, who was the captain Wait. of that team? Wait, hey, he's ringing me. He's ringing me. Wait, hey, we're on now. How are you? Yeah, we have him on now. So, fourteen, fifteen season. Here he is. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Right. So the left part and the striker. I don't know if it is though, I don't. 14 15. Of course it is. You think it's Rooney? Yeah. But one says something about Skip or so. What's the other position? Left back, but I think I think I've got a left back just a striker. Are you going Rooney? I don't think the striker's Rooney, who do you think the left back is? Ever. 
I think nah, it's not Ebra. You don't think it is? Ebra's Do you think? Okay. All right. Well, it's really, just H. Are you are you gonna are you gonna trust him? I'm gonna go Rooney, but I don't I don't want to go. I don't think it's David Blaine. I think it's Emrah. I don't know if he was there that last season before he went. Even though you phoned a friend, you're taking one of his answers but not the other. All right. Steal your answers now. I am. Oh no. Dude, you don't trust him. He was right. Rooney and Blind. So annoying. Did they ever go like two seasons before? Look at the grin on Sonny's face right now. You know, I was killing me. Wan, you knew that, didn't you? Oh no, I had no idea. <laughs> Could have told me you were playing. The final scoreline sees Wan and Sonny on Team Strong with. 10 points, whilst I'm afraid dragging behind Dan and Jeff of Team Griff with 8 points. Congratulations to our champions of the first head to head. You win absolutely nothing right guys. Didn't even trust the skipper. We tried and tried. Fine. Thanks mate. Joffre, Dan, thank you very much for joining us. Juan, Sonny, congratulations. Team Strong are the champions today. Thank you to everyone who is watching. Look out for the next Head to Head coming soon. And don't forget to drop in the comments below now who you'd like to see in the next round. Currently, Team Strong, Juan, Peter, and Sonny Williams are the top of our leaderboard. Congrats, guys. Sonny, take care. <laughs> thank you. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. -bye. See you later. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.